The heart of the Milky Way galaxy, also known as the galactic center, is emitting some unusual radio waves, extraordinary signals that are unlike anything known to mankind. Scientists just announced that a strange, unknown signal is coming from the middle of the Milky Way. Researchers have uncovered a wealth of information about space over the years, but the deeper they delve, the more perplexing the topics become. Although astronomers have long speculated about the possibility of extraterrestrial life, now they claim to have discovered a mysterious signal coming from the center of our galaxy. Scientists have been studying the patterns of radio sources that change for a long time, but the new radio waves they have found don't fit any of the patterns they already know. Let's talk more about this recent discovery in today's video. Researchers say they have found a new and unusual radio signal coming from the Milky Way galaxy. The name for this type of radio signal is Fast Radio Burst, or FRB. Scientists believe these radio bursts could originate either within the Milky Way or in other galaxies. In 2007, astronomers discovered the first FRB. Since then, large telescopes in many parts of the world have picked up hundreds of the signals. To this day, astronomers have not pinpointed a root cause for FRBs. However, neutron stars have been hypothesized as a possible source of the signals. It is believed that neutron stars are formed when massive stars explode at the end of their lives, leading to their gravitational collapse. It was reported that the duration of the signal from the most recent FRB was significantly longer than that of the previous FRBs. Short-lived radio bursts, or FRBs, are the norm. The new signal, however, lasted for up to three seconds, the team reports, making it approximately 1,000 times more durable. It wasn't until December 2019 that a radio telescope called the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, or CHIME, picked up its first glimpse of the new FRB. The city of Caledon in southwestern Canada is close to where the telescope is located. This initiative has the backing of a number of academic institutions in Canada and the United States. CHIME's primary mission is to monitor the radio emissions from hydrogen gas in faraway galaxies. The telescope is excellent at picking up signals from FRBs, according to its operators. According to the researchers, the signal most likely originated in a galaxy located several billion light-years from Earth. The average distance that light travels in one year is approximately 9 trillion kilometers, or one light-year. The newly observed FRB was also noteworthy because it displayed a pattern of repetition similar to a beating heart. As described by the researchers, historically, most FRBs observed only lasted a few milliseconds before they vanished. The city of Cambridge, Massachusetts is home to postdoctoral candidate Danielle Michili. The university's Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research relied on him as leader in the field. He claims that the type of periodic signals picked up by the telescope are rare in the cosmos. In light of these findings, the team hypothesized that the anomalous FRB originated from either a pulsar or a magnetar, two types of neutron stars. What we call a pulsar is actually a neutron star that spins very quickly. A neutron star with an exceptionally powerful magnetic field is called a magnetar. After hearing the new signal, the team hypothesized that it, quote, could be a magnetar or pulsar on steroids, as Michili put it. The researchers traced the signal's origin to pulsars and magnetars found within our galaxy. A million times brighter than FRBs seen in our galaxy, the anomalous one caught the attention of the research team. The scientists can't explain the FRB's increased brightness. According to the astronomers, this new signal lasts longer than any previously detected FRB and displays a more distinct periodic pattern. They're keeping their fingers crossed that more of the signal can be observed. Possible benefits include a deeper comprehension of its origin and a broader understanding of neutron stars in general. This detection raises the question of what could cause this extreme signal that we've never seen before and how we can use this signal to study the universe. Michele said, We may find many more of these periodic signals in the future, when future telescopes promise to discover thousands of FRBs per month. What is unusual about this signal? Zetang Wang said that the scientists found most strange about the new signal is its very high polarization, according to a statement by the University of Sydney. This, he explained, meant that the direction in which its light oscillated changed gradually over time. In simple words, polarization is a property of light waves that depicts the direction of their oscillations. 
The study author also noted that this was a never-seen-before phenomenon. He also noted that the object's brightness changed dramatically, sometimes by a factor of 100, and that the signal appeared and disappeared at random. In order to find out the secrets of the universe, variable or transient objects in radio waves are being studied. In astronomy, variable objects are stars that dim and brighten over time, or objects that emit varying amounts of light across the electromagnetic spectrum. Transients are astronomical phenomena which can last for durations of fractions of a second to weeks or years. A transient's short lifetime means it cannot be detected at the same time as a variable. Some examples of astronomical objects whose brightness varies are pulsars, supernova, flaring stars, and fast radio bursts. A pulsar is a rotating neutron star, or a dense, spinning dead star, that emits radiation and pulses at very regular intervals. Supernova is the explosion of a star, while fast radio bursts are highly intense bursts of radio waves produced by unidentified sources, which last for a few milliseconds. Flare stars are variable stars which exhibit dramatic variations in brightness within a few minutes. For a while, according to Zetang Wang, they thought the strange signals originated from a pulsar, a very dense, rapidly spinning, and dead star. He added that they had thought the signal might have originated from a massively pulsating star. These assumptions were later dismissed, however, when it was determined that the newly discovered signals did not conform to the signals predicted to be emitted by pulsars or any other known type of celestial object. What are the findings? By using the ASCAP radio telescope in Western Australia, Zetang Wang and a team of scientists from all over the world, including those from Australia's National Science Agency, Cicero, and the United States, Canada, South Africa, Spain, and France, made the discovery. The South African Radio Astronomy Observatory's Meerkat telescope was used for follow-up observations. Professor Tara Murphy of the Sydney Institute for Astronomy and the School of Physics said that they had been using ASCAP to conduct sky surveys throughout 2020 and 2021 in an effort to find new objects. The project is known by its acronym, VAST, Variables and Slow Transients. The coordinates of the newly discovered anomalous object were used to give it the name ASCAP, she said. She explained that this object was unlike any other because it was initially invisible, then became bright, faded away, and then reappeared. She said the thing was acting very strangely. Over nine months in 2020, the researchers had detected six radio signals from the object. They tried to find the object in visible light, but it was in vain. Next, they turned to the park's radio telescope in hopes of detecting the source. They were ultimately unsuccessful. Murphy explained that the signal was intermittent, occurring at irregular intervals, which is why they observed it for 15 minutes every few weeks using the more sensitive Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa in the hope of seeing the signal again. Fortunately, she added, the signal did return, but it exhibited a behavior that was dramatically different. She noted that the signal had persisted for weeks in previous ASCAP observations, but had vanished in a single day this time around. The researchers say this discovery doesn't tell us very much about the mysteries of the cosmos. Professor David Kaplan of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee who serves as co-supervisor to graduate student Zaiteng Wang, has commented that there are similarities between the new discovery and a new class of mysterious objects called Galactic Center Radio Transients, or GCRTs, one of which has been dubbed the Cosmic Burper. Around the center of the Milky Way, there's a collection of radio-emitting objects known as Galactic Center Radio Transients. The new object shares some properties with this class of mysterious objects, leading astronomers to speculate that the signals could be coming from GCRTs. Kaplan also noted that the new object's properties were distinct from those of GCRTs in a few key respects. And, as Kaplan was quoted as saying, we don't really understand those sources anyway. The mystery deepens. The researchers intend to keep a close eye on the object because it may reveal more information about its true nature. According to Professor Murphy, the Transcontinental Square Kilometer Array SKA radio telescope, currently in the planning stages for construction in Australia and South Africa, will allow astronomers to take sensitive maps of the sky every day. She went on to say that this extremely powerful telescope will not only aid in the investigation of mysteries like the most recent tantalizing discovery, but will also facilitate additional research in the radio spectrum of the cosmos. 
that pretty much wraps this video up guys. Thanks for watching. So, what do you think these strange radio signals coming from the middle of the Milky Way are suggesting? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.